Hey guys, Darlington Farm here, just out here in the shop, and as you can see behind me, we're getting ready to pull the, the uh, bridge board apart here. Um, figure I'll just do like a video series on kind of tearing this apart, kind of figuring out what all I'm going to do to it here. Uh, originally, I was kind of planning on having, uh, or pl rather planning on regrinding this thing, making it perfect, and then I kind of got to the, seeing how much it was going to cost me. H&W Machine Works is here local, uh, or relatively local, and they wanted like 3000 bucks to regrind and scrape the ways, so I don't know that I want to put that much money into this thing. So what I think I'm going to do is just get like power feed for the X and a DRO for it, and then just clean everything up, probably put some new X and Y nuts in it. I know I need new spindle bearings and then kind of anything else that's broken on it, but I don't think... I'm going to go uh, to the expense of having it reground. Been kind of looking around and you know for not much more than that I can get a newer one with chromed ways that doesn't need this much work. So I think I may just end up keeping this thing kind of as a beater and then selling the index behind me here. So figured I'd let you see. I'll turn the light on. So yeah as you can see this side of the uh, knee here is pretty gnarly you know you can see the scraping a little bit of it back here but right in here is really heavily worn and then i just pulled out the gib for the table here and it has been shimmed which tells me that this thing is worn pretty good now this side's not worn to the same extent which kind of makes me wonder if the table's tilting a little bit so I don't know, we'll see. I did run a, uh, oh, run an indicator, or run the table back and forth with an indicator on it, and it was holding, you know, a thousand, thousandth and a half, and the same goes for in and out on the Y. So for anything I do, I suspect it's probably gonna be accurate enough, but I kinda wanna get, you know, up my game a little bit. So I think I may just go ahead and uh, either get this guy cleaned up and sell it or get rid of it, or and, uh, or you know use it for a beater anyway we're gonna go ahead and pull the table off here like I said pull the two crank wheels off there's four bolts on that little casting deal that pops off there loosen the gib which is right there pull the gib out and now you can just take the table and run it back and forth with your hand I got my crane here or my engine hoist on it and we're just gonna go ahead and slide it off there and lift it up and I think sit it on my table over here and take a look at it It helps to take off the uh, stop here. It's kind of an important thing to take out. table off there uh, it's you know kind of what you would expect pretty good amount of wear um, yeah I'm really torn if this machine was one of the um, variable speed heads I probably would not really think about it and just go ahead and spend the money on it but ugh, it's a lot of money to drop on this old machine um, here's the uh, taking the Y uh, screw out. If I understand this correctly, I should just be able to screw this guy out. Because now we're free and all we have holding it in is that guy. If, I am, if my understanding is correct, I'll throw you guys over here and let you see.
these guys champions play. And we got these champs on the back side as well, so yeah, I was thinking of one of these shit. All right guys, so as you saw there, just went ahead, slid the table off, pulled the saddle off, and uh, gonna let you see the ways here. Kinda thinking I was gonna replace the X and Y nuts, but after looking at them here, I think I'm just gonna leave them be, probably order some more tubing for, oh, for fixing the one-shot lube system there, and uh, I may just put this guy back together and kinda forget about it and just use it. So, so here's what they look like. As you can see, you got some pretty good wear in here. I've got a, a decent straight edge I'll go ahead and throw on there and kind of get an idea. I, uh, I guess if it's not too bad, I might see about scraping it. I don't know. I uh, had looked on, looked on eBay and I had found a couple of um, Camelback uh, straight edges that are meant for scraping that. So I don't know. Actually, I got a this isn't a camelback obviously but i forget i think it's plus or minus like a thousandth over the length so we'll throw it on there and let you guys eyeball it really that's not bad on that side we'll throw it on the other side here and take a look maybe i can just scrape this guy in Maybe I'll just try scraping it. I don't know. I uh, need to do some more research on that one, but I suppose if I could scrape it rather than grind it, that'd be the way to go. Save myself some money if I could do it. I'll have to uh, throw the uh, throw the dude on this guy and see what happens. That actually would be kind of cool if I could just scrape it. It'd be something else to uh, kind of learn how to do. All right, so at a certain point, I get really tired of just working on machines between the Bridgeport and the KT mill and this shaper and just want to make some chips so i figured i'd let you guys see this i uh, had some inch and a half torch cut uh just a36 and um got a roughing tool in there and i'm just gonna surface it so just a little bit of fun here i'm already set up so i should just be able to hit the handle here It helps if you actually engage the power feed. <laughs> 